going to be um, pop off color uh, spring look. Here it is. I just recently did a spring look with a pop off color on the eyes with like a teal eyeliner, but this time I decided to do the pop off color on my lips. The star of the day today is the lips right here, and I'm loving this hot pink color. Like when I was filming today, and I was kind of thinking what to go for, and it just came in my mind and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a try and see how it turns out and I really love how it turned out. As you can see, I have like a little scratch going on right here. My son just scratched me like a few days ago. I hope you guys like this video and if you guys give this look a try, make sure to send me pictures. I will leave all the links to my social media down in the description box. Check that out. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and all the links that's given down below just follow me everywhere but anyways don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet yeah so that's it if you want to know how i got this look please keep watching so i'm starting off by priming my eyes with this nyc 24 hours jumbo primer crayon i'm just applying it all over my lids also under my eyes and i'm using my finger to blend it out now i'm taking my it cosmetics naturally pretty palette and then with a fluffy crease brush, I'm taking this color Sunrise from the palette. Then I'm applying this color in a circular motion, starting from the outer corner of my eyes and going inward. Then using a dense eyeshadow brush, I am taking this color Love from the palette and I'm applying it on my brow bones, kind of blending the previous color and making a smooth transition. Next, I'm taking this color Warmth and I'm applying this color all over my lid. Then I'll apply the color Sunrise one more time to deepen the color a little bit. For my eyeliner, I'm using this NYC Liquid Eyeliner. Since I kept my eyeshadows pretty simple, I'm going for a bolder eyeliner. Next, I'm curling my lashes and I'm applying few coats of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. I'm using Dior Dior Show Iconic Mascara. Then I'm taking this nude eyeliner from the brand Skin and I'm applying this liner in my waterline. For my foundation today, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in color 220. I have already primed my face and I'm just using my finger to apply the foundation all over my face first and then I'm using Real Technique sponge to blend the foundation. For concealer, I'm using this Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer from IT Cosmetics. Here I'm just using my finger to spread the concealer and then I'm using a sponge to blend it. To set my under eye concealer, I'm taking this e.l.f. contour kit and I'm taking the setting powder from the palette and I'm using a face brush to apply the powder under my eyes. To set the rest of the face, I'm using this powder from L'Oreal True Match and I'm using the sponge to apply the powder all over my face. Now to contour my face, I'm taking the darkest color in the palette and I'm placing it in the hollows of my cheeks. Then using a smaller brush, I'm contouring my nose. Using a pencil brush, I'm going back to the Naturally Pretty palette and taking this color Noir and putting it in the corner of my lower lash line. To highlight the inner corner of my eyes, I'm taking this Transforming Pearl color from the palette and I'm placing it in the inner corner of my eyes. For the blush, I'm using the Silky Touch Blush from Essence and I'm placing it on the apples of my cheek. Using a Luxie Highlighter Brush, I'm taking this highlight from the e.l.f. Contouring Kit and I'm placing it on the high points of my cheek, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, on the cupid's bow of my lips and my chin. I'm using a purple lip liner to line my lips following my natural lip line. I'm also using the lip liner to fill in my lips. Then on top of that, I'm using this NYX Liquid Sweat Cream Lipstick. I also apply 
applied some falsies off camera and I used Ardol's Demi USB lashes. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what would you like to see next. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.